Hello YouTube, this is Kimberly Favored, and I'm coming to you today um, uh, basically from the area of, I told you that this channel is going to be based on a lot of tips, um, and today God has inspired me to talk about dress code. Um, this, uh, is a topic that um, is very uh, silent in, in some churches. Um, as a believer, we are to dress a certain way. Um, and I ask God to anoint uh, everything that I say on this video. Uh, one thing about we have to do which God revealed to me on today is that a lot of churches are allowing dress codes um, certain dresses certain uh, attire um, to go on and this is really uh, causing a lot of um, trouble and conflict in the church um, this video is not to judge anybody, but it's to uh, encourage you that you are beautiful and you can cover up. Um, I remember uh, as a, a baby Christian, I really didn't know how to dress either. But as I grew in the Lord, um, God had given me wisdom um, on what to wear, what not to wear, what looks good and what don't look good. Because when we put on our clothes and we go in our closet, we are representing Christ. We are representing him. So when we take that clothes out of the closet, we need to first say, will God be happy if I put this on? Or will he be unhappy if I put this on? Um, we both know uh, if he will be happy or not. Now, some of us are endowed. Um, so some clothes we wear, we just can't help, <laughs> but sometimes some things will still show, but God want us to look presentable for him in the kingdom. And when new members come into the kingdom, he don't want them to be discouraged as if they are in the world, watching the world in the church. So I bring this video to you to let you know you are beautiful and fearfully and wonderfully made. And you can wear a skirt down to your knees and still be beautiful. You can wear an outfit that doesn't show everything and still be beautiful. You are beautiful. Remember that. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, you are anointed. You are blessed. You are highly favored of the Lord. You are awesome. So this tip... Uh, that I'm bringing to you this morning is to let you know you can dress modest and still be beautiful. You don't have to have things out showing because some of these things, I'm going to tell you, it seduces and it will seduce um, leaders. It will seduce uh, people. Um, so we have to be very careful, especially if a leader is married and then you come, you know, in the church and you showing everything. Um, we have to be very mindful of that. And then what if your husband-to-be is sitting right in the church and you're showing everything beforehand? <laughs> so we have to be very mindful of what we wear, what we put on, what is our intentions when we take it out of the closet to put it on. Sometimes some of the clothes that some people wear, you can actually give it to your children. They can wear it better than you. That's just how fitted some clothes do look, especially in the church. So let's just be mindful. If some clothes are, have gotten too tight for you, donate them and start over. Ask God to give you the, the, the money to start over a new wardrobe. Because I'm going to tell you, dressing modest is what get you a anointed husband, not dressing like the world. So I bring this video to you not to judge you, but to let you know that you can still be modest and still be beautiful. God bless you and remember Jesus watches us every time we wear something. He watches us. He will convict us. And normally, sometimes me, I will take a scarf or, and put it around my legs or around my body. I like to do that sometimes. When I know that some of my clothes are too fitted, I will take a, 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 a scarf myself um, to just wrap around me. Because some clothes will still fit fitted, 
no matter what you buy, a uh, bigger size. I'm not telling you to go and look like a grandmother. That's not what this video is about. What I'm telling you is that you can still be modest and still dress decent. This video is coming to you inspired by the Holy Spirit, which dealt with me this morning on how some churches are allowing members to dress any old kind of way, showing everything, seducing leaders. Um, and that's one of the main purposes is to, to seduce and, and to seduce leaders, especially if the leader is not married. That's one of some of the main purposes why, you know, people do wear um things that are really too fitted. And when I say fitted, I mean it's so fitted that when you sit down, you can't sit down. So, so um, let's just try to be mindful of what we wear, especially in the house of God, um, because we must be mindful that there are leaders, there are husbands, there are leaders in the church that we must continue to cover. And the way that we can actually cover them is be modest and be always modest what we put on, what type of shirts we're wearing. Uh, is it showing too much on our top area? Is it showing too much on our bottom area? We must be very mindful. And I am coming to you inspired by the Holy Spirit. God has taught me how to dress, and I am bringing this video to you on how he has taught me. God bless you, and may he richly bless your day. Bye-bye.